How to fit a pump in a sand spear installation. Our method makes it easier to install and remove if you have any issues. The problem. What is the best method of installation? Most sand spear bores are 50mm ID. These cannot fit a submersible pump. Two methods to use. Connect the casing directly to the suction inlet of the pump. Or solution two, install a suction pipe inside the casing. Connect the suction pipe to the inlet of the pump and install a non-return valve. Solution one, here you can see this picture. You've got your casing, you've got your sand spear, got a non-return valve if it's fitted and everything is sealed off and off to the pump. Pump suction directly connected to the screen, rising main. The rising main or casing is connected to the screen when using this method ensure the following. All joints must be airtight. Any small leaks will not allow the pump to prime. Rising main or casing should be of similar size as the pump inlet. The negative aspects. The pump has to be primed itself every time not reliable. The rising main is a lot larger than the pump inlet. This is usually. If a foot valve is fitted, how can you clean it if it leaks or it gets some sand under the seats? You've got to completely pull your screen out of the ground and refit your sand spear back into the ground. A lot of work. Solution two. This is something that we recommend. Highly recommended as it has a foot valve, therefore the pump is fully primed at all times. If any sand builds in the foot valve, the suction line can be pulled out easily and the foot valve on the bottom can be cleaned and easily reinstalled. The suction line is usually a standard polyline pipe, approximately 25 to 32 millimeter, the same as your suction line in the pump. With a non-return valve fitted at the bottom, the advantages of this installation is the pump is always primed. It's easily installed and removed. The non-return valve is easily removed and cleaned just in case there is any leaks. Rising main diameter is more aligned with the suction side diameter of the pump, making it more efficient and easy access to the screen if it needs cleaning or removal as there's nothing on the inside. The end. Result. There are always more than one solution. Solution 2 has been proved by my clients to be the most successful over many years. Plus any standard household pump can be used. For the size of the pump or quantity of water needed, a pump or bore test may be needed. Thank you for taking the time to look at the information we have created for you. We hope this will be of assistance to solving your piping, drainage, cleaning and drilling challenges. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact myself, Victor Little, or one of our team. For more case studies and information, go to www.deps.com.au, then click on to Handy Links or contact us on 1300 133 000 or email us at askus at deps.com.au. Depths, Products and Capabilities.